Oh hey, welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Things with Socrates. Today we're looking at how to use Z-Hop to make multiple colors on the first layers of a print. This is a dice box I made. Holds a bunch of dice and the first layer's got six different colors on it. What I did was I used Z-Hop to do the face in multiple prints and with the Z-Hop the nozzle jumps over the resulting prints when you do a retraction. So wherever it's trying to go where there's no actual printing, the nozzle will raise up and go down. In this case, I used six different colors for about 0.6 millimeters or two layers at 0.3 to make the initial colors. It starts with the green for the inside of the dice, and then the black for the dice knobs, and then the yellow flames, red outline, and the brown for the letters, and then finally orange for the rest of it. And each time you change the color in between using a change color command and you end up with a nice perfectly flat, perfectly smooth first layer with multiple colors. You don't have to have a bamboo, this works with any basic printer and you just simply change it in the settings. In my case I use Simplicity 3D as a slicer and the settings are here in the beginning of the extruder. You add the particular retraction height or the Z-hop height. In this case, again, I set my colors. Each one of these is 0.6 millimeters thick. So I set the retraction of the Z-hop height at 0.7 millimeters. So there'll be a little bit of clearance over the printed parts. And this way, each time it retracts, it'll go up and over and continue printing the next part. In this case, the six parts were set up as six individual prints. They're sort of numbered one through six. And each, at the end of each print, there is a color change command embedded in the end code. Again, in Simplicity 3D, under the Scripts tab, there's a section called Ending. You can add the code in there for the retraction and the color change. So as each layer or each uh, section finishes, it pumps out the change filament command. The filament automatically kicks out. You replace it with the next one. I put a little list so I know what to do next. And after five quick color changes, you've got the basic print done, and then the six is the body. About four and a half hours later, you got yourself a dice box. The same technique can be used for any kind of colors for the first layer, for the first beginning of the print. I think it's a really cool way to add more variety and especially nice colors and looks to the print, because let's face it, multiple color prints definitely look good. Give the bamboo people credit for that. Personally, I had trouble with that printer, but beyond that, do like multiple color prints, you can use Z-Hop, make it happen. This little dice is available on Colts, you can check it out yourself. Use the Z-Hop, make your prints more colorful. I think it's pretty cool. Check it out.